Jeff Little here with fellow Wilderness Systems Pro Staffer Juan Verut. Both of us have earned American Canoe Association certification as paddling instructors. And while at first glance it may not look like something like having proper paddling form is that important to you as a fisherman, uh, we're going to go ahead and show you uh, a couple tricks that really are going to help you improve your, your paddling technique, but also improve your effectiveness as a fisherman from this, this platform of a kayak. There are three parts to any paddle stroke. The catch, where you insert the blade into the water. The power phase, when you bring it back. And recovery, when you cleanly bring it back up. The, the one that I think is of most import to, to kayak fishermen, because it has a, a link to your stealth, is the catch. You want to insert the blade in such a way that you get a good clean seal on the back of that blade. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll demonstrate one good catch and one poor catch. The good catch is you insert and then you pause and bring it back. As opposed to a poor catch where you just go straight into the power phase. You can hear the difference and so can the fish. So in your catch make sure that you pause for just a moment and then come back. Beyond the stealth aspect of having a good catch, you're also going to get much more power during the, the power phase if you're not dragging that mixture of air and water on the back side of your blade. So you're going to get to the fish much quicker if you're an efficient paddler. One of the things that I notice most about kayak anglers when I'm teaching them to paddle during my classes is that they tend to use their arms a lot in their forward strokes and sweep strokes, like this. That will actually lead to repetitive motion injuries in your wrist, your elbows, or in your shoulders. What you really need to do is kind of create a box here. And you want, don't want that box to break down too much when you paddle. And you want to engage your core, engage your torso. Basically, when you paddle like this. I tend to watch my blade when you're first starting this paddle stroke and you're first starting to try to get yourself to engage your torso. One of the things that I tell folks is to actually look at the blade and that'll help me turn my torso on each stroke. Okay, we're gonna cover the sweep stroke. Basically, you can use the sweep stroke to avoid obstacles in the river or just change your paddling direction, kind of steering. What you wanna do in the sweep stroke is do the same thing that Jeff showed you with the catch, power phase, and recovery, but we're gonna do it out away from our boat in a C shape. And doing the sweep stroke in combination with the forward sweep stroke here and reverse sweep stroke here, you'll be able to turn the boat quickly if you need to. Okay, we've got a situation here where we're going to need to ferry from uh, rock to one rock and fish those eddies behind them. We've got a rock here, a rock here, and we've got flow. Most anglers would just go from this eddy behind this rock and just kind of paddle across that flow or across that chute and get pushed down river, river and have to paddle back up again. To combat that, what we're going to do is ferry across. We're going to uh, point our boats at about 1 o'clock, maybe 2 o'clock, depending on flow. Heavier flows closer to 1 o'clock, and we're going to slide our boats across those chutes so that we don't get pushed down river, and we'll slide right into that next eddy and begin fishing from there.